In this video, I'm going to list 11 different side hustles for software developers. Now you can use each one of these in your off time and even on the weekends to start making some income. For the best tips and tricks to learn affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a brand new video. Also click the first link in the description for my number one recommended way to make a full-time income online. Hello, my name is Alston with AustinGodbolt.com. I'm an affiliate marketer and internet entrepreneur who has helped thousands of people across multiple platforms make passive income with affiliate marketing, and today I want to help you. 11 side hustles for software developers. Now, number one is actually to start a web hosting reseller company. Now, if you go over to my website, ReboltWebServices.com, I'm a reseller of web hosting. I purchased a VPS, a block of storage, as you know, from a website called NameHero, NameHero.com, and I resell web hosting. Now, the cool thing about this is it's essentially pretty passive. Occasionally, I'll get a phone call from someone that has purchased web hosting from me, and I have to do a few things to get them back up. But in the event the web hosting does go down, I just contact NameHero and they fix everything. So being a reseller is relatively easy, and if you purchase the right packages, it'll have everything that you need. It'll have the WHM. You'll actually be able to set up user accounts. It's really, really easy. Now the backdoor hacky kind of way to do it is to purchase a VPS through like Bluehost or some of those other uh, web hosting companies out there and then just resell the hosting that way. But a more official, better slash easier way is actually to become an official reseller through uh, a website like Name Hero. Now you will need to purchase uh, some some domain names and credits and things like that through Enom, but for for the most part, it's relatively hands off, it's relatively easy. So number one is to start a web hosting reseller company. Number two is to buy and flip domains. Now what you can do is you can go to a website like Empire Flippers or Flippa.com and you can buy domain names for as cheap as five bucks. Then what you can do is you can turn around and resell those domain names for a much higher price. Now the reason why this works is domain names have kind of a ranking system. There are some keywords or keyword phrases inside of domain names that will actually make the value of them a little bit more. So what you can do is you can buy and hold and then wait for someone to reach out to you and you can actually make some money. So let me give you an example of, of, of why this works. So I'm gonna go over to domain names generator right here and I'm gonna go down to uh, DomainNameSearch.com and what we could do is let's say uh, we could say business uh, we could say let's say AustinGodbolt.com because that's an easy one and I know it so we go to AustinGodbolt.com and what you could do if you wanted to buy this domain or or if you want to ex at, le at least see the value of the domain you could click on appraise and then you can get a rough idea of what the domain is worth and when you buy those domains like that, you can buy and hold and somebody will actually reach out to you and say, I'm interested in buying the domain for X amount of dollars. You do that a few times and you can make pretty good money. Now, number three is actually to build an app. Now, as you know, you can actually build an app on many different platforms. You can build an app and run ads on it, or you can build the app and sell it for 99 cents on, let's say, Apple or even the Android um, SDKs. And so it's really easy for someone that has a software development background to build an app. You just have to learn Xcode uh, and some of the SDKs that are out there and within, I would say, uh, a short amount of time frame, relatively short amount of time frame, you could actually build an app and you could make money a few different ways. But building an app is really, really, really fun. And it's actually a resume builder. As you know, if you're looking for the next gig or job, people will actually reach out to you based on the games and apps that you develop. After building an app, you could actually program a game. Now, just like building an app, it can be a resume builder. If you have this cool or unique idea, it doesn't even have to be a unique idea. If you can just improve upon an earlier idea, you can make money by selling the app or actually running ads on, on top of the app, or someone can find you and actually hire you to do more work. After building an app, you can create a course in a programming language. Now, let me show you what I did. I went over to udemy.com and I actually created a few different a few different courses in Amazon Web Services, AWS, as you know, and people are taking these courses and I'm essentially making money. Now there's a few ways that you can make money with creating courses on a website like Udemy. You can make money by charging, let's say 99 cents or 9.99 or 11.99 for a course, 
or you can offer the course for free and then have, let's say affiliate links. If you're into affiliate marketing, or if you're interested in affiliate marketing, you can include affiliate links within your courses. And when people click on those affiliate links, you can make a commission. For example, you could have a course about Amazon web services and then say, Hey, if, if you want a website, click on this link and you can actually get set up with Bluehost to start a website. You would make $65 for every time someone clicks on the Bluehost link and buys the product, you would get paid a commission. And you can do this with a number of services. Let's say you're teaching people how to buy a domain name or building a website, whatever it may be, you can recommend a high quality laptop and then point them over to Amazon and you make a commission. There's a number of different ways that you can make money with creating simple courses over on Udemy. If you have a physical or digital product that you're selling on top of that, you can direct people to that product and make money that way. So creating a course, there's actually a number of ways that you can make money inside of creating a course as a software developer. The advantage that you have is you have a technical skill. Maybe you know and understand the programming language at a deeper level. That's something that uh, you can just learn in a day or two. Because you have a high level of skill and knowledge, people are going to want to take and participate in your course. One thing that you can do when it comes to Udemy is actually uh, build the course around building something out. So at the end of the course, they're going to have something that they can show and, and add to their portfolio that can help them get a job. You can build a simple like note taking app or you can build something that will maybe set an alarm uh, to ring at a certain time. If you walk them through building an app, you can get tons of people to join your course and you can make money. After creating a course in a programming language, as I mentioned, you can actually become an affiliate marketer. Now, affiliate marketing is simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. And there's a number of ways that you can be an affiliate marketer. You can add affiliate links to your YouTube channel, to your blog, which I'll talk about in just a moment. You can add affiliate links to your, your social media sites. And when you help solve someone's problem, they will click on the, your affiliate links and buy the product and you get paid a commission. You could run a Facebook group and have an affiliate link there. What you could do is essentially is you could run a Facebook group for coding or software developers and then have an announcement at the very top where you recommend the number one web hosting platform or the number number one software to use for getting why done. So being an affiliate or an affiliate marketer is a really good opportunity if you are a software developer. After affiliate marketing, you could be a bug hunter or pen tester. As you know, pen testers are paid pretty good to find holes and cracks in the system. You can get paid for doing this on evenings and weekends. As you know, there are tons of bug bounties out there, so that can be a good opportunity. Again, being a bug hunter or a pen tester can be a good opportunity and it doesn't require a ton of your time. Now, number eight is actually writing an ebook and writing an ebook could be a very good opportunity if you decide to write an ebook in a programming language that you're familiar with. You could write an ebook about teaching people that are just coming out of college 10 things or 15 things that they should learn or should expect when entering the job market looking for software developer jobs. You can write an ebook really about anything, post it on Kindle Direct Publishing or sell it yourself and you can make very, very good money. People are always buying these eBooks because they want to learn more information. They want to gain more information. And you again, have a special technical knowledge and skill where you can make very good money simply writing an eBook and posting it on KDP. After writing an eBook, you could write a blog. Now writing a blog for a software developer, you may think that it's not going to be very lucrative, but in reality, that's not the case. You can make money a number of ways from writing a blog. You can make money by having ads placed right on your website. You can make money with affiliate marketing, selling your digital product, maybe your eBook, selling a physical product, and you can actually write on attending different conferences. For example, you could write on AWS reInvent or some of the other uh, conferences that are in your niche and make very good money because people are going to come from around the world. And they're going to want to learn more about the conference, what to expect. In addition, you can write about your daily, your day in the life as a software developer. Again, what people expect versus the reality of being a software developer, writing on new coding languages, any problems, concerns that you have when it comes to coding, there is a number of opportunities as a software developer to write on this type of topic. So number nine is to start a blog. Number 10 is to create premium WordPress themes and plugins. Now you can make very, very good money creating different WordPress themes and plugins. And it's not as hard as you may seem. What you can do is you can go get some code from Git or GitHub and you can just make some subtle changes to improve something that you see or some bugs that you see on other themes. Once you're done creating it, you can upload it to a website like ThemeForce and you can get paid reoccurring simply by uploading and creating these different themes and plugins. In some of my other videos, I talk about how people can make up to $2,500 being a WordPress designer or developer 
what they would do is they would go to theme force and download these different themes that you're going to create so you're going to make money on the front end off of people that are going to download and use these themes on the back end and what you'd want to do is you just want to make sure that these themes would stay up to date with the latest information and security fixes but creating different themes could be very very lucrative um, you can charge as little or as much as you want for these themes, but the more you charge, obviously the more that you could potentially make. And number 11 is you can create and sell different coding snippets that add functionality, kind of like the WordPress plugin aspect, but that's going to be for different coding languages. If you notice there's a security issue or um, a fix for a potential issue, you can package that up and sell it and make very, very good money. Now that you know 11 different ways that you could start a side hustle as a software developer, click the first link in the description for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. When you click that first link in the description, you're going to be taken to a free training where you're going to learn how to get started step by step. Click that first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next to learn more tips and tricks to make money online with affiliate marketing. Also check out my website, alstongodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online with affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship. Now, if this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.